Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today Gabby and I are going to do what's in my nursing bag video and for anyone who doesn't know Gabby is my twin sister she's also in nursing she's still in nursing school while I'm now a nurse so let's get to it so Gabby you can go first so what's the first item that you have to bring when you go to work or well, go to clinical um the first thing that I always tell myself is to get a pair of my glasses because I know I won't be able to read anything unless I have my glasses with me so I have this uh, say with me in my bag I also have my glasses because I think we have the same glasses yeah we do okay. we have the same glasses <laughs> we need glasses because I cannot see mm -hmm. without it and that's essential okay I'll go next okay another item in my bag is so I have ear savers so I carry these babies around because ever since the pandemic started you just wear a lot of masks and if you wear the masks for too long it really just hurts my ears so I don't know if you bring this or not um, No, because when I started working as a student nurse it was when the beginning of COVID or quarantine happened and so the hospital was actually providing it so that was probably the best part about Oh, that's like, really good yeah, yeah, so they actually- I don't know if saying I think, yeah, the hospital. <laughs> yeah My hospital does also like a good cut Good cut Okay but Same hospital, yeah, same The hospital like Actually, people donated to us and they gave us ear savers. Okay, so yeah. same that was us. nice. Yeah. yeah, or people made those headbands and then you can put the headbands mm. attached to it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next thing that I found essential is my watch. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. So. To be honest, though, I learned that watches aren't really good for hand hygiene, so that's I why I don't use it or bring it with me anymore. I agree. And plus, I already have my phone on the unit with me, so like, and also the um patients' uh, clocks in their wall on their wall if there is. Any, yeah, it, I totally I agree that. because of infection control. We actually stopped wearing watches, but I actually use this and I just clip it on my shirt, mm -hmm. so that's a pretty smart thing. But I also have a clip at work, which is a time like a watch as well, and you can just clip it on. But I actually don't use that method either because sometimes it could get in the patient's way, or like if you're bending, like I know there's already this stethoscope part too, and sometimes like I noticed that I could hit the patient sometimes by accident if you're too close to them but that's why I also think it always really depends but I always sanitize with cavi wipes okay yeah yeah that's good okay. yeah okay how about you what's the next thing that you bring um I obviously bring goggles Ooh, that's a good one <laughs> I have those too but I leave mines at work because I get too scared of bringing my goggles back home because I use it a lot to see patients and because of the whole pandemic that's going on you just never know right so mm -hmm. another thing that I have in my bag is my stethoscope oh yeah and I also bring <laughs> my stethoscope as well this is the Litman Classic 3 and I believe Gab's is the Litman Classic 2 and we love our Litman stethoscopes because they are amazing I mean I really don't care but it's working so <laughs> I mean yeah as long as it works and you can hear the lung sounds the heart sounds whatnot mm -hmm. so yeah so these are perfect if you guys just want to get stethoscope okay what's next in your bag um this is probably one of the <laughs> actually the second uh, most important item that I think is Second mo most important <laughs> behind my freaking glasses. There you go, pens. Two oh pens, my. and they have to be like different colors. These ones that like okay, let's just see. the multicolor. Pens. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, so I think they're very essential because pens are important as well as me. I'll show Gabby. These are my pens, but a lot of my pens I leave at work. But what I do usually is that okay, pens are crucial so if you're a nurse you have to get a pen and I advise you to get a multicolored pen because you just use red blue or black every time yeah. or so green what, yeah or green but for documentation legally oh, yeah, it's blue and black yeah but this is the pen that I use and sometimes I just like tie them together like this with a hair tie and there you go it's a multicolor pen baby <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> but nursing hacks, if anyone wants to save money and they think these two are cheaper, nursing hacks. <laughs> All right. Okay, next one that I found that's very essential is my work IDs. I always have to oh bring yeah, this. Oh yeah, I bring my ID too, but Be it's not here, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but 
So we need to always scan in and out of our unit and to get into the hospital or sometimes you just need to show your your ID and also I love having like my code cards here like my different color codes so I have this on my ID badge it's so useful especially if you're like the new grad or a, um, or a student nurse working and it helps you just distinguish between like the different codes so like a code red code blue code orange code green code yellow whatever and so on and there's other things that I have here too and yeah so just important numbers that I save on my ID badge just in case I need to call someone and I don't memorize phone numbers. Okay, any other thing, Gabby? Um, I bring a Tylenol and hand sanitizer. And that's really much it for me. <laughs> Ooh, that's, wow. I have I, food, I, but... I carry so much. Okay, we can go about that on later, uh -huh. but same for medications. <laughs> I go overboard. <laughs> so I bring... Yeah, like, I don't. I bring this baby with me that all the me. time <laughs> so with me i carry ibuprofen guys ibuprofen because i just don't know when i'm gonna get my period and when that time of the month comes i cramp like heck and i do not survive work if i do not take at least one of these and then also oh yeah more ibuprofen oh i think i just put Tylenol in here. So there's Tylenol in here. So I put Tylenol in here because I frequently get headaches at work because sometimes the air is not clean and then I just get a bunch of headaches a lot of times when I'm at work because it's so stressful. So I take that. Yeah. For all you nurses who take medications at work, don't do that. <laughs> and then I also get itchy sometimes at work because... What is that? Like my itchy medication, oh. cetirizine. So I just take cetirizine or you can take whatever medications that prevents you from itching. So I take this because I get hives because of the environment around me. So, and the environment in the hospital is not that great. Like air quality, the, I don't know, sanitary stuff. I don't know, there's just molds that grows in the hospital. So that causes me to itch. So yeah, and then I have other medications that I bring along just in case, like travel, I don't know, like anti-reflux. You don't know whenever, you don't, you just don't know whether you'll have GERD or oh, not during never. work. So <laughs> I have like my anti-reflux Which pill is it? This? No, that's like another one. This one's like Benadryl, another itchy medication. <laughs> yeah, and then I also bring blister bandage or like any band-aid, even though we have band-aids at work, but like, I just bring my own that I think that is very strong and tough because mm -hmm. when you wear shoes sometimes, like especially your new shoes and you're like, you blister. Yeah, you get <laughs> blisters. <laughs> so yeah. So I bring a lot of medications. And then another thing that I bring as well, maybe Gab, you do this too, but I bring sanitary pads. Actually, I don't. <laughs> but, but you never know, like I just never knew whether <laughs> I'll get my period or not or if I'm spotting so I have to bring this or else I freak out TMI I actually <laughs> don't get my period I'm on the IUD <laughs> I'm on <a> TMI <laughs> but yeah so I always bring this along and then my coworkers usually ask me too because they know that I bring this so yeah mm -hmm. girls I guess bring better be safe than sorry yeah. but I guess I get the sorry part for that <laughs> exactly and then another thing I think Gabby mentioned was I bring oh. sanitizer mm -hmm. So we both bring our sanitizers. And the reason why is because we really care about cleaning our hands before, after eating, washing, yeah. going to the washroom, anything, touching the sur surfaces. Yeah. Especially during this pandemic. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And then another thing that I bring is a pen light. I don't know if Gabby, you bring this. Too. I actually don't bring it because oh. I realize that like I really don't do it on the patient. <gasps> oh my gosh, to future employers, oh. you watch this. <laughs> like, like sometimes I carry it. Okay, I have one. I carry it, but I forget I have it. And so like when I know it's like a neuro <laughs> patient, then like that's when I like do it. Like for usually as a student nurse before, like I would start off like, oh yeah, <laughs> I have this pen. Then I ask my peers, like if they do it and they're like, no. So I'm like, okay, okay. but I still do it anyways. But for best practice, 
do it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> but yeah, and if I don't have a, a pen light with me, then I just use a flashlight. We usually just have a flashlight at work and we use that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what we use. And then I always also have to bring lip balm. Lip balm, I don't know. How about you? <laughs> My lips get chapped for 12 hour shifts. So. I'm fine with drinking water. Like, oh yeah, I guess one other thing too. I even bring my water bottle, but right there. there. Oh. So another thing, stay hydrated, folks. <laughs> we love to stay hydrated because you're working 12 I actually use a bigger bottle, but this yeah. is just a 600 milliliter. You get at least like a one liter bottle. Yeah, I try to drink like two to three liters at work just because I'm always on my feet and you always just need to stay hydrated. You don't want to faint. You don't want to like get dizzy during work. Mm -hmm. So yeah. You have more stuff your <laughs> I do. I'm crazy. Okay. There's what a the few hell? things. Okay. And there's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I come prepared. I'm just that person. Okay. Next is moisturizer. I bring this is that hand cream. Oh yeah, it's moisturizer. And the reason why I bring this baby along with me is because you sanitize your hands at least like I don't know, like a hundred times at work, don't you? Yeah. And then it gets so dry. So I have to bring this along with me. If I don't, my hands stay really dry. And it's just gross and it doesn't feel good. So yeah, I bring moisture. Is that from Merck? <laughs> that's just, uh, let's just say I got that from. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. And then another thing is Kleenex. I bring Kleenex because I have oily skin, so I usually use Kleenex to blot myself as well as just in case. She's so high maintenance. I am. No, I'm what? Not. I then just there's me when I'm sweating. I'm just like oh. I just come very prepared and I bring Kleenex to like if I have tears at work. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm joking. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, cried in the beginning of like my first year nursing just because an instructor wasn't like really saying I, what my mistake was. I, I just, was crying. Yeah, I just feel like you cry in general whether you're a nursing stool or nursing. But yeah, oh, okay. I mean, when you get sick too, this is really useful. Mm. And then another thing is earplugs. What? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So I use these earplugs. I don't know if this going but I use earplugs because during night shift I'm taking a nap or even during day shifts because I take like three naps during my shifts. <laughs> I can't stand noise so I always have to like plug it in. Yeah that's what nurses do when you see them like missing in the middle of the night. Well that's what they're doing sleeping. <laughs> at least we get like some <laughs> we get some sleep during our night breaks. Wait, is this even a lot to even be talked about? No. We shall keep that <laughs> <laughs> but during our 30 minute breaks, our other 30 minute breaks, and our other 30 minute breaks, we use our earplugs. So these are come in handy, so make sure to bring some if you need some. And then another essential, I think they're not really essential, but like... Oh my gosh, you have more stuff? <laughs> but your scrubs. <laughs> okay. And, and compression socks. I don't know if you do this. Now. I don't. I don't like but yeah I for don't. scrub wise I just pack it because I change at work or like at work they provide a scrub so I don't really have to bring my own mm. but that was like I just bring an extra pair of clothes yeah I wear my clothes to work and then change into scrubs <laughs> yeah I don't do that <laughs> and then after I always wear compression stockings as a student I've never worn this but these are life-changing if you've never worn it I'll give it a try, <laughs> maybe. These are life-changing because they actually improve the circulation of my feet. Like my feet feels less dead, less swollen than when I was a student when I was only wearing basic socks. So these are helpful. And I guess one last thing that's very important is my phone. How about oh, yeah, that? yeah, I carry my phone too, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of things in our phones that we use and there's a lot of medical apps that I actually use to help me at work to understand certain things. So yeah, that's Ma cool. yeah. maybe next time Gabby and I can film a video on like- Are we doing a twin channel now? <laughs> so what is this? No, we're not. But we're gonna do, maybe we can do like, like some apps that we thought that was useful for clinical and such like that. I mean, I use only one app and I'm pretty sure she's gonna mention it. <laughs> it was fine. But yeah, compared to Gabby's, She's very minimalistic. I'm a minimalist. I, count, I come prepared. Like, look at me. You can come to me now for anything. You can tell how our lifestyles are <laughs> different. 
<laughs> but anyways, that's it for our video or my video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!